Hello Libra and welcome to your Astro Flower reading. This is going to be a reading from the 1st of August going through to the 6th of August. You have been on fire over these last sort of two or three weeks. Things really sort of seem to be panning out for you. The overall energy here, we've got the Ace of Cups. So you should be leading with your passions, basically, uh, allowing your passions to flow through your life and, um, and it will bring you amazing results, I think, on both sides of your life, not only on your relationships, but also on your work side of life. I've done the August readings um, uh, for you, uh, which would be linked in uh, our channel, so you may want to go and see that. It's an absolutely beautiful reading uh, for the collective and for the individual signs. So um, go ahead and, uh, see, uh, and, and uh, check that out after this after this uh, reading. This is the uh, relationship side. This is your financial sort of side. Let's just get straight in there at the moment and see what's going on with the karmic message for your relationship side. Trust. Trust in your feelings, basically. Yeah, there's a start of a journey. Maybe you've been a bit sort of reserved by starting this journey. And, you know, putting a lot of provisos on a lot of things of kind of going, well, if this works, then this can work, then this can work. You know, I would trust in your feelings, how you feel about the relationships that are around you. And this could be your family, friends and community. This could be your couple. Just trust the feelings that you have and it will take you on the most beautiful journey. Uh, let's just see how the um, universe is trying to influence your karmic path. Or your karmic message. That of it's not gifts, but it's it's almost as if like you've done a lot of work on yourself, therefore uh, relationships will reflect that. Yeah, patience, 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 timing, timing. Yeah, I think you've done a lot of this work on yourself and I think it's now waiting for this to sort of happen. I think the universe is sort of saying here that they're waiting for you to actually ignite that ace of cups within you. Trust your feelings, trust your emotions. Um, you can tend to get a little bit mental and try and work things out a little bit too much and go a little bit too far in those sort of respects. And I think it's a case now of just trusting those feelings within you. If, you're, if it makes you happy, do it. You know, um, let's see how the guides are trying to influence that karmic message. They're almost stopping you here from going back to what you were before of that doubting Thomas sort of aspect you can have within you. And they're sort of saying, no, 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 no. It's this way, it's this way. It's this way, uh, Libra, Empress. That has come up, I'm not joking, out of the 12 readings, you're the last one I'm doing, and out of the 12 readings, it must have come up in 10 of the readings. And I talked about this in the August readings. You should really go and check that out. It's all about marrying that body, mind and spirit, marrying that physical side of life and that emotional side of life. Um, and your guides are sort of really forcing you down that road. Um, they're not allowing you to go back on yourself. Let's just see how the guides are trying to influence the conversation that is within you, that conversation that we all have. They're, they're playing in tandem with these guides here. They're sort of saying to you, no, 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 it's not like that. Um, no, you've overthought that. No, those emotions can be a lot easier going than that. You've got to let go. You've got to let go of your fall in love. Fall in love, Libra, man. Just fall in love. Fall in love with the moment. Fall in love with the people that are around you. Trust those emotions that make you feel, yeah. Um, you know, people aren't generally out there to get you. You know, and I think you've got to learn that. I think you've got to learn to love. And it's not that you can't love. It's not that at all. But I think it's more so you've got to, learn to trust your emotions and trust the the joy that, 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 you, that it brings to you in your life. I think that's really, really important for you. Okay, let's just see what's going on on your financial side of life. Just fall in love. Just fall in love with life. 
okay and that's marrying that body mind and spirit side so let's just see how what the karmic message is within your your fire in regards to money if you, whatever you try and do at the moment seems to be working you know whatever you're trying to do seems to be working stay away from conflict don't try and be this is the thing if you're running a business right um if you it's good to uh, observe what your competitors are doing but don't concentrate on them because if you concentrate on them you're not concentrating on your business so if you're in your job or whatever and stuff like that just stay away from conflict because it's only going to bring you down and dampen that ace of cups energy that should be flowing through you so avoid conflict at the moment they're not worth winning the conflicts at the moment are not worth winning because it's going to stop you from actually expanding and expressing and uh, exploring the avenues of <coughs> what can actually provide for you um let's just see how the universe is trying to guide you at the moment or a universe is trying to influence that karmic path that karmic message They're giving you the means to go forward, to progress. Uh, so it's like um, you need to go somewhere and you haven't got a car and the universe just sort of um, happens to bump into a friend who's going in the same direction. So then therefore you can get a lift with them. That's the sort of thing they're trying to do. They're trying to help you progress or go forward, go, yeah, go onwards. Yeah, walking away from old ways of being. There's a danger here, Libra, of... of of putting that doubt inside you and don't that, that conflict will take you back to where you were before and you don't I don't think you want to be there I think you there's a brighter future and you've got to go forward you've got to keep going on I think and I think the universe is really trying to push you on there and, and pull you forward um, let's see how the guides are trying to influence that karmic message They're like, um, I don't know if you know rugby, but like when you get in a scrum or, you know, it's as if your guides are really pushing you as well. They're, 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 they're working in tandem with the universe and they're trying to push you forward. They're not allowing you to dig your heels in. Tower. A lot of people have had tower, it's got to be said. You're not the only one. And I don't think it's a tower um, moment as in, a bad thing i think it's basically clearing out the old in order for the new to take shape and form in your life and i think this is where your guys are sort of like clearing stuff out and that's where they're pushing things over and pushing tower moments upon you that sort of say leave that in the past don't don't concentrate on that concentrate on the future allow that ace of cups to come through in you and they're clearing a lot of space around you of old things that you were doing so you can actually explore the new things. And it seems, you know, I, as I say, I think you're on fire. I think you're doing really well. And I think the universe and your guides are trying to help you to progress along, uh, uh, further along your path financially, uh, within your job, within your business, within, within your projects. And I would just stay away from conflicts that just, they're just not worth winning. You know, if you do stay away from all these conflicts, all of this stuff here is going to be really, really positive. If you get caught up in conflicts and petty little conflicts, it's going to, it's going to seem like pulling teeth. So I wouldn't get involved in conflicts if I'm with you. Let's just see how the guides are trying to influence the conversation that is within you. In autumn period, the leaves go brown. All the leaves are brown and the sky is green. You know, um, but those leaves are not wasted. They're memories of the summer as they 
float towards the ground and fertilize the dreams of tomorrow. They create the new earth of tomorrow. So allow that dead wood or allow that those leaves that don't serve your purpose anymore. And this is where you're moving into your autumn as well. You know, um, I forgot to mention that and I should have mentioned that. You're in your autumn period, so there's a lot of things you're sorting out. And I it, certainly within the financial side and your business side of life, this is really coming clear where you'll be giving lots of options for going forward in the future and then walking away from old things. So be strong and true to yourself. Seize these opportunities. Seize these possibilities of a brighter new tomorrow. Uh, allow that Ace of Cups to just flow through you um, uh, as you go forward. There's a lot of major arcanas actually looking at this uh, this reading. There's only at the moment there's only four cards from the small arcanas, but uh, minor arcanas. But you know there's major arcanas going on here. There's major changes. There's loads of changes that are going on for you, Libra. None of them are actually really concrete. And that's why I think the on the relationship side is trust your emotions. And on this side, your guides are trying to pull you through. So it's still there's still work to be done. Let's just see what the overall outcome is and what the energy is going into the following week after this. With every step you make... Uh, going forward in life, more opportunities are created. So if you're not stagnant, if you don't sit back and you do progress forward and you allow yourself to be open to changes in your life, there's going to be huge amounts of opportunities for you. Hi, Priestess, just to finish it off. <laughs> with another arcana. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six arcanas out of ten, which is pretty good. You know, real solid, really solid um, cards for you. And this is using that clarity of thinking which you have, that intuition which you have, trusting your feelings on this side and trusting your guides and following the evident path and staying true and strong to your uh, desires of what you want out of life will allow that ace of cups, that pure passion for life that you have inside you to just overflow into the rest of the world around you. There you go, Libra. Um, that should help you out for the uh, going forward for the week of the 1st to the 6th. If you want to support this channel, the best way in which you can do that, it's free of charge. Um, you only need to subscribe and click that bell. It would help us out enormously. Um, we're going to be doing lots of stuff on Cymatic TV as well, which is also linked in the descriptions below, uh, along with lots of other stuff according to the Astro Flower. Um, so yeah, it'd be lovely to have you part of this um, family and see you on our sister channel, Cymatic TV, where we talk about energy, channeling, uh, the vibrations, chakras, the whole sort of thing, near-death experiences, loads of things. Uh, in the meantime, Libra, don't forget, life should be fun, so please do enjoy.